one. I wish uh, it's a tall building among uh, small buildings. Ah. Then it will have a view of forever. No, 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 no. <laughs> Go ahead. So really, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Well, I, I like the way you put it, reasonably optimistic, because one can never be sure. One can never be sure in the General Assembly. That is why I said that whatever the two sides agree upon as a common draft still has to be made known to the others. So you, you sort of uh, obtain uh, their, their agreement that notwithstanding the change or changes that uh, each side had made to its original proposal is still in accordance with what they see to be their own interest as well. Opposition to taking up security council reform at this time? Well, that meeting, in my view, would be very, very crucial because that perhaps would constitute uh, one of the last few chances, one of the last few chances to come up with something quickly which will safeguard the interest not only of the G4 or of Africa, but of all countries that have been working towards a reform of the present uh, setup in the United Nations. In Sierra Leone. So I was present in Sierra Leone when all this hula balu about the special court. And so if uh, we get to the stage, we have to weigh our options. Which is more important at this time? Is it getting uh, two permanent seats for Africa? Is it obtaining the veto? You cannot exercise veto if you are not a permanent member. <laughs> that is clear. In the 70s, oh. I was still a junior officer, of course. Right. Yeah. But I was permanent representative in Geneva. Oh. 